Hi there. We talked today in class about solids of revolution. We looked on Friday at revolving them around the x-axis. Today we looked at revolving them around the y-axis. And so we start the same as Friday with our boundaries here. y equals 6 minus x, x equals 0, y equals 4. x equals 0 is our y-axis, and it also happens to be our axis of revolution. Our AOR. Okay, so we go to y equals, we plug in 6 minus x and y equals 4. And we graph it and we get our sketch here. And we're going to be revolving this triangular region. So I'll go ahead and sketch that. Okay, so we have y equals 4. And our y equals 6 minus x, and we're revolving it here around our y-axis. Okay, so our shaded region is this piece here. Because we're going to be revolving around the y-axis, and this thought process is going to be true also if you are revolving around a line parallel to the y-axis, such as x equals 2 or x equals negative 2. Because we are revolving around the y-axis, when we create our integral, our bounds are going to be the y bounds, right? Because that's what we're revolving around. So I want to know what's my lowest y and my highest y here. And my big R squared and my little r squared are going to be in terms of y, dy, because we're revolving around the y-axis. And my rectangles, when I form them, my representative rectangles to help me find my big r and my little r, are going to be oriented towards the y-axis here. And so what we're looking at is this region. Right. Okay, so my bounds, my lower y here is 4. My upper y is 6. And so my big R is this distance, the distance from the axis of revolution to the furthest point of the shaded region. Okay, From the axis of revolution to the furthest point, we have upper minus lower, right? Above minus below. Okay, or since we're looking at it sideways, it's technically right minus left. But again, it's this idea, above minus below. Okay, my above graph, this point here, is y equals 6 minus x, but I need it to be in terms of y, right, since we're revolving around the y-axis, so I'm going to change this y equals 6 minus x into terms of y. So I'm going to go ahead and add this x over, so I get y plus x equals 6, and then subtract the y over, and so I get x equals 6 minus y. And so that's going to be my upper minus my lower, right? I'm calculating that distance. The distance is always a measure of where you started and ended, right? The space between them. So we started and ended at this graph here, our x equals 6 minus y, and this graph here, which is 0. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract my lower, upper minus lower, 6 minus y minus 0. My little r is the distance between the axis of revolution and the closest point of the shaded region. So if I start at my axis of revolution, go to the closest point of my shaded region, well, there's no movement involved because that distance is 0. My axis of revolution is a part of my shaded region. It's one of my boundaries. Okay. So then we're set up with this integral pi. Integral from 4 to 6, 6 minus y minus 0 squared minus 0 squared. So if you go into your home screen, 84s, you'll hit math. Right here, you'll hit math. And then you'll scroll up to number 9, f and int, and it'll give you a very nice little integral to plug into. 89s, you'll hit f3, number 2. We'll plug in our function which in this case, I'm actually going to clean this up just to facilitate plugging it into my calculator. This actually just is 6 minus y squared and minus 0 has no impact. So, Okay, so type in our function first, 6 minus y squared, comma y, to acknowledge the dy, comma my lower, which is 4, comma my upper, which is 6, hit enter and you get 8, 
pi over 3, right? You get 8 thirds and then don't forget the pi. Okay, so this worksheet is on my website, so I'd encourage you to be downloading it, following along with me. So at this point, you might want to pause this, see if you can try number 6 on your own. If you get stuck, go ahead and turn the video back on, use my next step as a guide for you. Or if you're able to make it to the end, then turn it on, watch it to the end in order to check your answer. Okay, so number six, we're going to start with graphing it. So we have our y equals 5 root x minus 1. y equals 1, y equals 4. It gives me this picture. So we have our graph, we have our y equals 1, our y equals 4, and our y equals 5 root x minus 1. And our axis of revolution is around the y-axis, which means, again, since we're going around the y-axis, our integral is going to be in terms of y. So we're doing pi. Lower y is 1, upper y is 4. Big R squared minus little r squared dy in terms of y. Okay, so my big R distance from the axis of revolution to the furthest point of the shaded region, and then we do upper minus lower, or right minus left. My right here is this graph, y equals 5 root x minus 1. But I need that to be in terms of y, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start by dividing that 5 over. Okay, and then I can square both sides to get rid of the square root. And then add the 1 over. So we get x equals y squared over 25 plus 1. Okay. So that then is this equation. So I'm going to go ahead and put in y squared over 25 plus 1 minus my lower, which is 0. Okay, so that's my big R. Little r is distance from the axis of revolution to the closest point, which the axis of revolution is part of the shaded region, so that little r is 0. And again, just to facilitate plugging into the calculator, I'm going to rewrite this. y squared over 25 plus 1 squared dy. Okay, and so then we go to our home screen. Again, 84 is you hit math, go up to number 9, which is fn int, okay, for integral. And then 89s, we hit f3, number 2. And we type in y squared, oops, parenthesis y squared, over 25 plus 1, quantity squared, comma, y comma 1 comma 4. We get 15, 6, 4, 8 over 31, 25, and then don't forget the pi. And there's my answer.